Hello everyone, it's Annette here. I'm here today to show you my new layout I created for the Pink Fresh Studio September challenge. This challenge is all about rainbow. The colors in the challenge match perfectly the Pink Fresh Studio liquid watercolors. These watercolors I used to create my background. The paper I used is a simple cardstock, but you know not all cardstocks uh, react the same way to watercolor. It is not a watercolor paper, but it, it reacts to watercolor beautifully and the colors spread on it beautifully when it's wet. And of course it will get wavy and it warps, but uh, still I like it, I, I like to use it as it is. I didn't use any gesso on the paper, uh, you can use gesso if you choose. The effect uh, with gesso is something different, but it will be beautiful. You can try without or with gesso, or you can even take uh, watercolor paper. I used a big brush to make my cardstock wet on the left side of the paper where I want to, want to uh, create my rainbow. In this cardstock the water soaks in, but not too quick. Uh, this cardstock is really smooth and it takes a little time um, until the water soaks in. And this time I use to put my paint on it and it spreads beautifully. But I really have to be quick and I have to be careful not to overwork your cardstock. If you need more time, just prep your uh, cardstock with gesso. The effect will be not the same um, with watercolor and gesso, but almost. And the best is if you use watercolor paper, then you have a lot of time to let the water flow and let the paint flow. You see me, I wet the paper over and over again, so the paint has water uh, to flow in it. I wanted to create some water drops running down the paper, so I used some water and some watercolor to make uh, the colors I made before a little wet, so I have some color drops uh, that I can uh, let uh, run down the paper. At the end of course I make some splatters too. This layout I didn't plan ahead, I just had the idea to create a colorful background on the right left hand side and um, I didn't know what to do next. So I just left my paper there on my table, let it dry, and afterwards I came back. And then I had the idea to use colorful thread and uh, make embroidery on my layout. This colorful thread is for knitting, so it is a little bit thicker than the ones we use for embroidery. I matched the colors of the thread with the uh, watercolor and then I started planning. I really didn't know how it will look like and I just went ahead and uh, did it and I uh, the, the whole layout evolved with time. Stitching is so much fun but it needs a lot of time. I do it usually in the evening when the kids are in bed and I want to watch a good movie while my hands are working. If you put so much effort in a layout and so much time in a layout you never know in between uh, if it was worth it. You just you just see it at the end. So um, I didn't know if it will be good or bad or, or if we will like it or if I, if I won't like it. I just went ahead and did it. And you tell me if it was worth it at the end. I do have layouts where I put a lot of time in it, but I didn't like the end result, really. So you never know, but I think the um, the joy of the creation is really, really important. So if you enjoy the time you spend with making layouts, I, th I think that is the most important thing.
so this is my finished background it's really colorful and I think it's really interesting uh, with the shape of the embroidery I made on the background now I'm looking for the suitable photo and the suitable elements for embellishing some time ago I created this yellow oval frame with the ornate oval frame die from Prinkfest Studio and I think I will use it, on use it on my layout because I think it fits and I also use the Celebrate Today stamp set and this is from the Pinkfresh Studio and Alta New Collaboration collection Celebrate. I also use some embellishments from the Days of Splendor collection. This is the newest, the fresh uh, collection from Pinkfresh Studio and this has beautiful autumn full colors but I think it's fit it fits my layout. I stamped with black ink and I fussy cut the flowers. So I, this way I can use the flowers separately. I hope you enjoyed my process of making this colorful layout and I inspired you to take part on this beautiful uh, challenge of the Pinkfair Studio. I think everybody loves rainbows, so go for it and uh, see you next time in my next video tutorial. Bye bye!